now that we have our three materials it's time to blend them all together uh, this next part can be pretty tedious so if you get stuck and need some help you can find the original tutorial at this address to start we're going to close the material editor go up to select the mushroom cloud and go up to our modifiers uh, just as a precaution we're going to select all the vertices under the edit poly and add a UVW map okay we're going to set the type to cinderical and align it as so then just fit it so it looks right next we'll add another UVW map uh, leave it as planner and it's essential that you set the map channel to 2 again we're going to align it so it looks like that then fit it and everything is pretty good okay now that we have our two UVW maps we're going to add a blend map um, set that as blend discard the old material name it mix mat 4 and for our two materials we are going to instance mcloud1 and mcloud3 you should hopefully see it change in the viewport set the mask as interactive the grade, uh, and set gradient ramp um, turn show and viewport on and make the gradient nice and tight by adding another node and putting them really close together now this is what we have in the viewport which isn't what we want to see we want it to be up and down uh, so we'll go up here and edit change one of the angles to 90 that's exactly what we want and take a look at what it looks like in the render okay so this is looking pretty good at the moment uh, if your materials are the wrong way around all you need to do is go back to mixmat4 and swap them around but that's not an issue at the moment okay um, we're going to add a second blend click blend click blend and make sure you keep it as an old submaterial. we want those two to go together name this next one mix mat 5 and for the materials we've already got our last blend and we'll put in mcloud 2 again set mask as interactive so we can see it in the viewport set the gradient ramp again turn on that again go down make it nice and tight again but this time we're going to set the gradient type to radial radial. Alright, this is what it's looking like in the viewport, which isn't exactly what we want, so remember that second UVW map we made? Yeah, that's where this comes in handy. Set the map channel to 2, and yeah, that's looking much better. I'm just going to edit the ramp, put it in a bit closer, give it a bit more blend, and check it out in the render. Okay, so this is what we got upon rendering it. As you can see, they're switched the opposite way around. That's not an issue. Just go back into Mixmat 5 and swap them. Voila! Excellent. Righty o. Okay, now it's time to get some animation done. Uh, I might just set up an environment quickly. Come over here, make a plane in the top viewport, scroll out a bit control and voila a big plane and I'll move that down a bit so you can see it just on the edge um, press 8 to open your environment and effects editor uh, for the environment map we might make I don't know, just some simple smoke Again, not too shabby. Um, we'll put a material on that plane. Just a simple grey will do. Uh, ground, you can edit this later, tweak it a lot if you want. Um, next, make a fence post really quickly. Close that. Uh, front, this is meant to be front. And make it rectangle. Make a few 
rectangles. again, go to effects, add a lens effect, glow, open your material editor, and for mclad1 set the material ID as 1. That way we can assign it via material ID down here in options, material ID 1, uh, just see how that looks. 